Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name's Talisha, hello. Today's video, I have decided to film me getting ready for one of my friend's weddings. So she's getting married today, Francesca. She has been my, I've literally known her my whole life. She's um, a bit older than me, so she's like my oldest sister. Um, really, really good family friend and I am so excited for today. I actually can't believe she's getting married, it's crazy. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd film this process because it is going to be a stressful one. I've got about, it's about 11 o'clock now and we need to be there at one. Oh my gosh, I've got, oh my gosh. So yeah, it's going to be really stressful because I don't really know what I'm wearing. I've got a couple of options, but basically I got my hair cut yesterday. I don't know whether you can tell. <laughs> It is so short. I've got it tidy up right now because I'm going to do my makeup. But literally, that's the length of my hair. It is so short. And my dress that I was going to wear is a high neck dress. It doesn't go with my hair. So I don't know what I'm going to do with my hair. I think I might curl it. And then even if I shove it back in a bun, then it will sit better in the bun because it will be curled. But yeah, I'm going to curl my hair. But I'll show you how long it is. Oh. <laughs> it's actually so short oh it's just so difficult because it doesn't really look how short that ponytail is it's literally so short um so i think i'm gonna make it wavy and then see how i feel about it oh, look at that there's literally nothing there see another option is like a half up half down kind of thing like this i don't know how i'm gonna do this it's gonna be so difficult i think the bottom layer is just gonna be rubbish this is actually the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> Ow, I just burnt my ear! I've almost finished curling my hair. I've done like all the bottom bit. Now I'm just doing the top layer. So when I curl my hair, I don't know how it's going to look on short hair to be honest. But when I curl it, I use the Bablis. I think it's called like curl and straight brilliance or something like that this one it's really good because it's like really hot round here so it curls your it's really good for straightening um uh, curling your hair with straighteners it's really really good definitely recommend it and i think i got it for like 40 pounds or something when it's meant to be like a hundred i don't know i honestly don't know i got it so long ago yeah i've just gone around and curled all of it and then i'm gonna let it set and then make it all um like wavy brush it out but this is just how i curl my hair with straighteners i usually leave like a stop at the end so that the ends more so it's more like beachy because this will drop it's quite like curly right now but it will drop so the front bits are the ones that i struggle with all the time literally can never do them right and get them to look good Mm, it's not too bad this side always turns out so much better than the other and watch me jinx it here but it's just like it sits better like that whereas this one is always really like curly here so i normally have to go in and like make that one less like that you know anyway that's my hair done it looks so curly right now i look like a, a tudor boy I'm just going to clip this top part of my hair up, like so, so I can do, I actually quite like it when it's like this, it looks quite cool, um, so I can do my face. So first step is always moisturising, I use a CeraVe moisturising lotion. Um, that's i've only been using that for like a couple of weeks uh but it's really good i really like it and it's really like gentle on my skin so i never wear foundation anymore really i wear if i wear anything i wear bb cream but i haven't worn this i literally have only worn concealer for the last like two months so i'm gonna be wearing this today it's a bit dark so i will have to lighten it up with concealer and i can't put too much on um unless it does fit with my skin tone, I doubt it will though. But yeah, so I just used a Rimmel London BB cream. Um, you can't get it in stores, you can only get it on Amazon, but it's really good. Uh, but first of all, before I do any of that, I'm gonna be putting this Charlotte Tilbury, I think it is. It is a Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand. 
so it's basically a highlighter but i'm just going to put it on underneath because otherwise it doesn't really blend very well so it's like a natural glow but i don't know how to turn it on okay so that's quite a lot on you can see but i'm just going to take the back of my sponge and blend it out whilst i let that set a bit i'm just going to curl my eyelashes and put my mascara on but i'm not going to film that because it's boring mascara done I feel so much better about my hair now that it's curled the way I like it. We're going to go in with my BB cream now. I'm really praying that it doesn't make me look orange. It's quite dark. Mm, kind of matches my skin tone. I don't really. I, I can never tell. I'm actually so bad at makeup. I can never tell when it's on. I need to like blend it in and blend it down my neck first and then see. It's not bad actually. It looks alright. I thought it was going to be really dark, but it's actually not bad. So I've got this um, like patch on my neck. Last night I sprayed this tan thing on my neck uh, because my neck was really pale. And now I've got this patch. I don't know whether you can see it. It's like a massive big patch on my neck of it. And so now I'm going to have to like cover it up. <laughs> it looks awful because it's like really obvious as well. I feel like I've got enough on. Oh. Where's my lip bleeding? Okay, there we go. I think that's done. Oh, I might put a little bit on my chin. And I'm just going to go in with some, this is like the Airspun powder. I've literally had this one for about three years and it hasn't even gone down the tiniest bit because I just don't use it. But sat underneath my eyes and I just put it on my forehead as well just a little bit the thing is if you put too much of this on it does even though it's like meant to be translucent it does make you go quite white and then what i would do is i'll take my powder brush and i like dip it into so the lid has like excess on so i just dip it into that and just go around like the other parts so it's wet and then blend in and wipe off the other areas because otherwise they'll be too white if you let it sit for too long it's 12 o'clock now i've almost finished my makeup well not almost um but i'm gonna go and do my eyebrows now i literally just take this collection it's like all worn off because it's so old but it lasts forever and this was only a pound uh, but i take this collection i it's an eyebrow palette and i go in just to the tail of my eyebrows because if I overfill them they get too dark and obviously because I've got blonde hair I can't overfill my eyebrows and make them really really dark because they're already so dark and then after that I go in with the benefit gimme brow thing and this is like a tester so it's really small and I just go over it and brush it through make sure everything is kind of neat Next, I'm gonna do a bit of eyeshadow. I have not done eyeshadow in God knows how long. I've got this tiny eyeshadow palette from MAC. It's really old. What color? I think I'll just go in with like this color. Just put it all over the lid. And then blend it out slightly. Then what I'm gonna do is take my bronzer, which is just the MAC matte bronzer. And I'm just gonna put it in like just the outer corner of my crease. I don't really know why I do this. I think it kind of makes my eyes look a little bit bigger. And because it is slightly darker, it makes them look bluer as well. Um, someone's hoovering right now. <laughs> Finally, I'm gonna take a little brush. I'm gonna take this um, like goldy color in the center. I don't really know why I'm putting gold on my eyes today, but I'm gonna put it in the inner corner there. And kind of pack it in. And then blend it slightly out like this and then take the other fluffy brush that has the bronzer on and just blend that out so it's kind of like a bit seamless but that's just really plain really simple um eye makeup for today and that's done so i usually do anything to my eyes and my eyebrows before i put bronzer on because it just gives my face a quick minute to set um so now it's like kind of dry so i'm just gonna bronze and I'm using that same MAC matte bronzer
Then I'm going to use this MAC Matte Blush. It's in the shade Melba. And just give myself a little bit of colour because I'm kind of quite browny at the moment. I've got golds and browns all on me, so a bit of blush on my nose as well. Put a bit of colour back into my face. And then I'm going to use this sleek highlighter palette. I'm just going to take this kind of light shade here tap it off because I don't want it to be too sparkly because I'm already quite glowy and just put it lightly my cheekbones tiny bit on my nose and then what I usually do is just get my finger go into this cream colour and put that on my upper lip finally last step well second to last step I'm going to put this revolution lip liner on I have no idea what shade it is but I don't really put a lot of lip liner on it. It's just kind of to um, like make my lips a little bit more even because the lines of my lips are a bit jaggedy. Finally, I'm going to put this NYX Butter Gloss on. It actually smells so good. And that is my final makeup look. I usually would put like some setting spray on it or something, but I don't have any here. It's all at uni, so... Yeah. Right, I'm going to get changed now into my first outfit and show you guys what it looks like and then I'll try my second one on as well, probably. Okay, I am ready. I'm completely changed. I've decided to go for this dress. So this is the one that I was worried about because it's high neck, but actually it doesn't look too bad because my hair's all done, my makeup's done, whatever. The shoes are my favourite part ever. They are from Public Desire from ASOS. They're literally so cool. They're like this pinky purpley colour. They're so cool. I love them. And they're so easy to walk in as well. I do love this dress. I saw it on... It was a TikToker. I can't remember what her name is. I saw it on her TikTok and she wore it to a wedding. And I was like, well, I need to get that for this wedding. So, yeah, I love it. I think it's so cute. But it's so out there and I feel a bit like self-conscious like I never ever wear anything like this so yeah hopefully no one judges me but yeah I'm ready for the wedding now um and we've got to go in a second so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video then let me know and I'll do more videos like this even though I won't be going to any weddings I'll do like get ready with me's more often so yeah I'll see you in my next video <laughs>